The 2017 Acura MDX is a mid-cycle refresh of the third generation of MDXs. I've always liked the MDX, especially the third generation, even with its uh, beak-like front grille. This revised model retains all the good parts of the third generation and fixes a lot of the ugly or bad parts. So let's take a closer look. Case in point, the new diamond pentagon grille and jeweled headlights make for a beautiful and refined look to this exterior. Many people I ran into during my week with this MDX did never assume that it was an Acura, but always assumed it was something like a Mercedes or something a lot more high end. They couldn't quite put their finger on it, but they knew it was a nice luxury vehicle. And when I told them it was an Acura, it was always a shock. Under the hood, you can get a 3.5 liter V6 or like our tester, you can get the three liter hybrid system. Either one of these you can be pushing the front wheels or you can get Acura's SH all-wheel drive system. The SH all-wheel drive system stands for super handling all-wheel drive which means that it pushes more power to the back wheels as you're going through a turn to help you go through that turn more stable and quicker. Super handling. So that's the exterior but let's take a look inside. The interior is largely unchanged and that's both good and bad. On the good side, you get a lot of really nice materials. It's very comfortable. Also in our case, you get room for six passengers, although there's also a seven passenger variant available. The $6,000 advanced package removes the middle seat from the second row, giving you a nice and handy console. It also equips this SUV with fancier leather, ventilated seats, and a 360 camera system with front and rear parking sensors. So I said it's both good and bad that they kept the same interior. The bad comes with the infotainment system and this split screen setup. The display is a big blob of blue gradients that's clunky to navigate and just looks and feels outdated. And no Apple CarPlay. I'm also not a huge fan of the push button transmission. I kind of liked it when they first introduced it, but now it just seems kind of gimmicky. Uh, I don't really like it. I'd rather just have a traditional gear shifter, even if it is an electronic shifter. I'm just not a huge fan of the buttons. The seats are easily adjusted and folded to make it easy to configure this vehicle to the way that you need it. The driving experience is really excellent with a smooth and comfortable ride. The base car at around $44,000 is a really good price getting into one of these MDXs. If you uh, get a hybrid version with all the bells and whistles like this one, you're pushing 60K. And for that, I think I would be looking at something more like the Volvo XC90, maybe for a little bit more money, but it's a lot nicer inside. It's still a really nice ride. It's still a really nice vehicle. And people are gonna notice that Volvo badge. There's also a lot of other cars that compete with this, the Buick Enclave and other luxury brands like the BMW X5 and the Audi Q5 or Q7. And for me, I really like the looks and the drive and the technology, except for the infotainment system of the MDX. But for 60 grand, I would be looking at something for my family, something more like the Ford Expedition um, or something along those lines. It's even bigger. It's still a really nice ride. You get a lot of nice technology with Ford and very comfortable um, interior. So that's where I would be looking if I was spending this kind of money, but I need the extra space for my big family. And if you don't, this is really good value. I wouldn't put my money into the hybrid. It doesn't give you that much better fuel economy. We've averaged 26.4 miles to the gallon. We've driven this thing this week 
from right outside of Dallas where our house is to Mount Pleasant. Um, and then we've also driven it from Dallas to Granbury. Both of those are like two hour one way trips. So we put a lot of miles on this. We've had the family in it. We've had it packed out. It's a really nice car. It's good. The family liked it, but for almost $60,000, I think personally, I would choose something different. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that review of the MDX. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the car and, uh, Thanks for watching.